I was out on the West Coast trying to make a buck. Things were going bad, I got down on my luck. I got tired of roaming and bumming around. So I started thumbing back east toward my hometown. Made a lot of miles the first two days. And I figured I'd be home in a week if my luck held this way. But the third night I got stranded way out of town. At a cold, lonely crossroad, rain was pouring down. I was hungry and freezing, done called a chill. When the lights of the semi topped the hill. Boy, I sure was glad to hear them air brakes come on. So I climbed in that cab where I knew to be warm. At the wheels sat a big man, he weighed about 210. He stuck out his hand and said with a grin, Big Joe's a name, and I told him mine. He said the name of my rig is Phantom 309. Well, I asked him why he called his rig such a name. He said, because son, this old Mac will put them all to shame. There ain't a driver or a rig running any line. Ever seen nothing but tail lights of Phantom 309. Well, we rode and talked the better part of the night. When the lights of a truck stop came in sight. He said, I'm sorry, son. This is far as you go. Because I got to make another turn just on up the road. Well... He tossed me a dime as he pulled her in low and said, have yourself a hot cup on old Big Joe. And when Joe and his rig roared out in the night in nothing flat, he is clean out of sight. Well, I went inside and ordered me a cup. Told the waiter Big Joe was a setting me up. You could have heard a pin drop. It got deathly quiet. And the waiter's face turned kind of white. Well, did I say something wrong? I asked with a halfway grin. He said, no, this happens every now and then. Every driver in here knows old Big Joe. But son, let me tell you what happened about 10 years ago. At the crossroad tonight, where you flagged him down, there was a busload of kids. They were coming from town. They were right in the middle when Joe talked the hill. All oh, it could have been slaughtered, but he turned his wheel. He lost control and went into a skid. Gave his own life to save that bunch of kids. There at that crossroad was the end of the line for Big Joe and Phantom 309. But every now and then, some hiker will come by. And like you, Big Joe, he'll always give him a ride. Here, have another cup. Forget about the dime. Keep it as a souvenir of Big Joe and Phantom 309.